Hedy Fry, your member of parliament for Vancouver Centre. I, November is a time when, when we actually talk about our veterans and their valor and the, the sacrifices that they made, whether it was World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam. We do have a lot of Afghanistan now. We have a lot of people who have sacrificed a great deal. And we, we laud them and we have films about them and we stand and we cheer them. But it seems to me that this government, this Harper government, has forgotten about them. When they come home after having been hurt, whether it's physically or mentally, with post-traumatic stress disorder, they have been abandoned by the Harper government. It has taken a long time and many people speaking out for this government to finally agree that the new Veterans Charter has actually ignored post-traumatic stress disorder and only acknowledges physical injury as something that they will develop veterans programs for. The new charter has actually gone to giving veterans a lump sum, and that lump sum of about 200,000 is not enough to last a young Afghanistan veteran all of the time that he needs to regain his life and to be able to live a meaningful life. And, and then when you look at the old veterans from World War II who are now in their 80s who just are so tired and stressed out trying to even go through the appeals that they have to go through in order to get understanding. I think, you know, let us honor our veterans. Let us really honor them and recognize when they come home that while they protected us abroad and our freedoms, it's time for us to protect them and take care of them when they're here. And while we're about it, and I know Mr. Harper has now heard everyone and he's going to look at the new Veterans Charter and the lump sum payment, I say let's reinstate Pat Strogan as the ombudsman. Just because he criticized the government does not mean he has to go. So that's just my rant for the day, and I just wanted to say to the veterans, I really honor everything that you have done for us. Canada is what it is because of your sacrifice.